Hi, French Horns. Welcome back. On today's video, we're going to do Accent Book 2, page number 12. And on page number 12, the uh, upper left-hand corner is the note F sharp in our first space, and that's second valve for our F sharp. We also have the afterbeats, which are eighth notes on the upbeat or the and of our, of our beat. We've got the key signature that has one sharp or F sharp, meaning that all Fs are sharp, and that's the key of G major. And then finally, transposing is when we rewrite a melody beginning on a different starting pitch and maintain the same pattern of half steps and whole steps. More about that at the bottom of the page. So today's exercise, number 34, minor episode, is the first order of business today. It's in 4-4 time. It's got B flat and E flat, and it's going to use that F sharp as well. Our starting pitch is the note G. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, ready and a go. Let's do it a second time, just in case you're just starting and warming up. One, two, ready, go. Next in our page, number 12, is America, God Save the Queen. This is a traditional carol, and it starts again on the note G. However, in the key signature of this piece, we have the F sharp. So that means that we are in the key of G major, and all Fs are sharp. One, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> If you need to, pause and practice. Rewind and review that exercise again for more practice and so that you can make more progress. Next up is number 36, and it's the Old Brass Wagon Duet. As I always do, I'll begin by playing part A. You can join me or play part B for an instant duet. This piece is in 2-4 time, and there are no sharps or flats. Our first note is C. Here we go. One, two, ready and go. Let's try that part A again. One, two, Ready and go. Now we'll move on to part B. Our starting note is E. One, two, one E and a two. Ready and go. And let's do that one a second time. One E and a two, 
Ready and go. <laughs> Our final playing example is number 37, and this is the theme from A Midsummer Night's Dream by Mendelssohn. It's in cut time. Do you remember what cut time means? That's right, all the values of the notes are cut in half. So, whole notes will make them sound like half notes. Half notes will make them sound like quarter notes, and quarter notes will make them sound like eighth notes. Well, what will we make 16th notes sound like, like at the beginning? Well, 16th notes, of course, will make those eighth notes sound like 16th notes. One E and a two and one and two, one and two and one E and a two and... Okay, so we're starting with the note C. This one will be a little tricky. Do your best. One, two, ready, go. Let's try it again. It never hurts to try it a second time. One, two, ready, and go. Great. If you need to, pause and practice this one again. In fact, try it at a slower tempo and see if you can do it at, say, 60 beats per minute. Our last exercise, number 38, talks about re-transposing something or rewriting something in a new key, transposing. And it says, transpose the first six measures of number 35, America, God Save the Queen, into these two keys. So back up in number 35, we started on the note G. Well, they'd like you to try starting on the note B flat. So take your pencil and on that first line, try finishing the America song, or at least the first six measures of it, starting on the note B flat. Then on line two, try starting on the note C. You'll need a pencil and you'll need your French horn to double check your work. So until I see you next time, keep practicing.